going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. It is Saturday about mid morning ish and we have got an adventure that we are taking this morning to go pick up yet another truck. Yes, that's what I said. I said another truck like we need it. I know. I know. But if you're anything like me, Marketplace is just somewhere that you know, you live, you're looking for deals, you're looking for trucks. Marketplace is a little bit, I would, a little bit as in a lot of bit of an addiction for me. You know, you, you just never know what you're gonna find on there. So we were scrolling yesterday. Uh, it's kind of funny, cause I got my search menu options. You know, I know what I'm looking for. I'm trying to catch the deals. I'm trying to catch the stuff that just got listed. So we're on there, we're looking. Boom, something popped up, listed three hours ago. That's where yesterday this story starts. I hop in the truck right away because it's a good deal. It's a pretty rare truck. So we fly there to go check this thing out. That's where we're starting. We're gonna go, we're gonna go look at it again. Uh, but guys, I'm telling you, uh, and again, maybe it's not the most rare to everyone, but to me, and you guys will see, you'll see the full picture, but that's where we're headed. That's the adventure today, is to go grab this yet another truck. But anyway, guys, if you haven't already gotten entered to win Gary the Extended Cab Gray first gen truck, and I'm not sure what you're waiting for, 20 times entries are still live. Again, guys, to get entered to win the first gen, and it comes with $10,000 in cash, or you can pick $15,000 instead of the truck if a first gen is not your thing and you still wanna support the channel, you still wanna support your boys, the giveaways are the best way to do that. So you could win this truck and 10 grand, but here's how you enter. Wrenchworks.com, website down here. Purchase anything on the website at all, at all. Could be a sticker, could be a t-shirt, could be whatever you want. There's tons of stuff on there. You go there, you purchase, you check out with whatever. Every dollar that you spend counts as entries. Used to count for $1, one entry, now it counts for 20 times during launch week through October 2nd. So time is running out to get those 20 times entries. They will not be that high the rest of the giveaway. So if you do your odd calculation, the better the multiplier, the better your chance. So anyway, guys, that's where this morning is getting started. You guys know we're always adding to the fleet. When I see these things, I just can't help myself and that's where the day is starting. Nothing like Saturday going to look at trucks. Not trying to give it all away, but uh, you already know that we're not trying to roll home on some uh, stock wheels and tires. We can't be. We can't be having that. So we may be maybe bringing a rental set just to uh, just to roll home. See it? You can see it. You can see a little bit of it. There she is. I haven't told them what it is yet. <laughs> they got a sneak peek for sure. Oh, there she is. There she is. Hey, how's it going, man? Greg? I am. All right. Um, I got your copies of your paperwork it's already in the truck. Okay, cool. And there's the key. Okay, sweet. What was your name? My name's Adam. Adam? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Here's our unit. So, again, uh, is it in absolutely perfect mint mint shape? No, but the bones is, is where we're at. So you may be looking to yourself and be like, man, it's just a third gen mega cab truck, but we'll show you, we'll show you. That's what you're after boys. That's what, that's what, that's what dreams are made of right there. That's a six speed. So six speed manual 0659, uh, for a lot of people, this is what they're after. This is this is a little bit more rare of a truck to 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 get. So you don't often see the Mega Cab, the six speed. And you know, when I'm on when I'm on marketplace looking for these trucks, like we've had a lot of different configurations, we've had a lot of different trucks. I'm looking for something that's a little bit different. Uh, I actually really, really, really like this color. Um, I think we can do a lot of like cool things with this color combination, this, uh, this cab configuration, the six speed. Um, so yeah, I'm super pumped. You can't really see it in here. We'll get it out. We'll get it pulled out. Um, and yeah, I'm super pumped. So rare truck and you got to always factor in ran up here yesterday because of the, because of the price that we paid. So got that nice cold AC. Now, 
<clears throat> when you go to feel this clutch, if when you go to drive this thing, if you ever do, that'll be the first thing that we need to address besides this hellacious tint job on this thing. But or you don't like the suicide tint? I'm not. You know, it's just not. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. Oh, hang on. Are we back? We're back. Are we back? All right. Well, sorry, we'll, sorry about the audio, guys. Little, little audio mishap, but you know what? We're uh, we're okay now. Switching from mics to mics, you know. Mics to mics, mic'd up. All right, we're in our new unit here. Wait till you guys feel the clutch pedal on this thing. That'll be the first thing that we need to uh, probably address. Let me turn this down so they can hear. But guys, there's there there is some things on this rig here, okay? Goodbye to our man. There is some things, but you know what? I, I think we can handle it. I, th I think we've proven ourselves to be able to produce pretty mint units, and that's what this thing needs. But it's not every day you get that in a mega cab. Look at all that room back there for activities. Is that my new bed? Yeah, that's where you're going to sleep. You know, she needs a little love everywhere, but I'm I'm excited. I'm excited. Typical Saturday here at a... Uh, Typical Saturday, just picking old, up... Old wrench work. Picking yeah. up units. I think we need to find a, a nice little parking lot here. What about what, what about right here? You think this looks you know, like a nice uh, parking lot? A, a bathroom would be really... Oh, a bathroom. You totally want to use a bathroom. Really, yeah. You know what? I think we need fuel. Yeah. The Shell station looks absolutely perfect for... Hopefully they sell sell the diesel. All right. Well, we gotta we gotta pause the video. This tiny tank's gotta go. Cause <laughs> cause Dawes gotta go pee pee. You gotta here, go a little pee pee. Here you can. Uh, here you go a little pee pee. It's still recording. Have All fun. right. It's still recording. Have fun in there. All right, my friends. Well, O six five nine G fifty six Mega Cab. Ooh, love it. Love it. There, my first baby. Trust me, it's the clutch. It has a heart. Like, can you can you feel oh, it? Oh, I feel it. Can you feel it? Man, she got a Kenny's triple disc friggin' sled pulling clutch in this damn thing. Yeah, the guy was the guy uh, was like, we, I mean, the guy, the salesman there were super cool. The guy yesterday, Lee, uh, he was really cool, and he's like. He's like, yeah, he traded it in on a on a newer Ford truck. He's like, it was a newer truck. I'm not sure. And you'll have that as well. Uh, he's like, I don't know why he got rid of the truck. <laughs> I test drove it. I was like, I know exactly why he got rid of the truck. I was like, have you felt the clutch pedal in this thing? He's like, no. I'm like, I'm like your left leg's gonna look like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger here pretty quick, and your right leg's gonna look like Dawson. But. <laughs> wow got him but it shifts it shifts good there's no uh like gear issues it's just that it, it it needs a it needs a south bend luckily in stock at wrenchworks this thing's only got 160,000 miles it's a wow. mid unit i mean wow. yeah it's not a 30 40,000 mile low unit but like that is low miles for what you're normally going to see and find. For an 06, hell yeah, fire me up. I'm all kinds of fired up. I did about 120 the whole entire way up here to get this thing yesterday. Yep. Yeah. So I pulled in to go look at it, and as I pulled in and got out and like met the met the guy uh, to get the keys, to check it all over, two other guys literally pulled in within five or 10 minutes of me uh, being there. Like, it was, and it was only on Marketplace for a couple hours. Like, I just so happened to pop it up. It was the first thing I saw. I'm like, huh, interesting. And here's where you gotta watch Marketplace, boys. It was labeled as an automatic. Scroll through the pictures a little bit. That's not an automatic. So just be careful. You got to watch those listings sometimes. You're, you're the, the true the true uh, marketplace enthusiast will uh, <laughs> will understand that. You know, she just needs a needs a rehab cleanup job. You know, 
Some people, some people just see different things. I see, I see a pot of gold, honestly. You're a weird looking leprechaun. <laughs> Second gear was the win. I tried third. <laughs> I tried third. It wasn't too happy with third. I don't need. I don't even know if this thing. I mean, of course, this thing is stock. Apparent. I would think it'd be stock, but uh, I don't think anybody has done any sort of dialing up of any kind. I'm not sure of that, but it's it's pretty slow. But hey, it survived our burnout test. I mean, I think it's worthy to stay. I think it's worth it. I think that was pretty decent. Yeah, no, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty decent. Got pretty a little decent. close to the grass. You know, the the guy who cuts the grass might be a little 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 ticked, but you know, I, I think it's okay. Honestly, solid ride home. I mean, needs some steering. You know, needs needs things and stuff, but things and stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go park this bad boy. All right. I'm all about this thing. Seems look good. Yeah. What do you think, babe? Pretty nice. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty positive that, again, I, so I, post, I posted this on Instagram and everyone was like, they sent me DM, man, what's up with the tent? Guys, we're gonna fix it all, but that's an easy fix. Up there, up there, we, we, need, to, we need to fix that. Every, just remember, everything is fixable i think what someone did is like if you look at like normal cab lights all they did was split the difference between the outside ones and the inside ones and <laughs> add another one because they probably wanted a peterbilt honestly and if you can't have a peterbilt then just add add a couple of extra cab lights in yeah, there they, honestly i'm surprised there's not chicken lights chicken lights <laughs> down here they they definitely had to do that so they, they went on Amazon and hit add to cart one too many times. Yeah, Just yeah, had they, some spares. Unfortunately, they, their fives and their sevens are a little little off. But um, honestly, like, solid driving truck. I mean, no issues. Just need some love, you know? That's our specialty. That's our specialty. Hey, Ray, you want to come play in the back of the Mega Cab? Meow. Meow. Hey, look at how much look at how much room is in the back here. Wow. Look at how much room. Wow. You know how I was saying it was missing some chicken lights? I found them. Really? I'm not sure. Look down there. Is the Oh is, the, is that is that what they is that what those are? That that is what that is. I guess maybe they come on with the lights. Or maybe they just... Oh, they're green. They're green. They're green. Oh, look, I got green lights down here. Oh, we got some down here. 
Oh, Man, look gosh. at all that. Are the cab lights green? That wouldn't surprise me. Nope, they're orange. Are they orange or what? No, they're orange. Oh, you got it. Hey, turn those back on. What? The LEDs. My man just wanted some green ambiance in there. That's that's it. You know yeah, what I mean? Honestly, ambience. honestly, I don't hate it. Really? The I, green well, guy. not the green, but oh, okay. like okay. a lot of times, like even in the Peterbilt, it's funny that I'm referencing the Peterbilt, but when you're driving, <laughs> so the new trucks have all those little lights everywhere. Third gens don't really have that like accessory lighting to where oh, you're aware. driving at night and it's just completely dark. So like maybe that looks good. We'll just have to change them to not green. But. <laughs> to, to not green. Shoot, if it uh, if it works out nicely, I might, might put a set in mine. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You might be our man might be onto something yeah, here. Yeah, he might. You don't want to hate on him. That First be... mod, this ejecto cedo. This was uh, that flew off on the ride home. Nice, nice, classy for sure. Classy, not trashy. Oof, you know, you know this thing's. Well, Mega cab six speed. Whooping. Don't worry about that. What? Don't worry about that. I saw where your eyes went. It's getting, you, you, you act like the bumper's going to stay. Wait, you what, what like do you think getting... I was looking at? Oh, no, I wouldn't look at that. Wouldn't look at those either. So like I was saying before, like I was saying before, uh, I just have this thing about different configuration trucks like I'm not after like the, like this is a mega cab six speed in this color. Like it just, there's been other trucks that have popped up, but I'm just like, yeah, they're not really, I don't know, same color, different, you know, I'm trying to change it up here. So basically what you're saying is if you didn't own all black, you would own all tan. If I didn't own all black and didn't actually stick to a color, I'd probably actually rotate vehicles way more often than I. I'd get sick of one color and then have to like go like oh this khaki color looks cool i call this khaki and someone told me this is not khaki what would you call this color champagne uh this is champagne yeah it's, it's a dark champagne all i know looks good <laughs> <laughs> wow you need to take this light bar off this damn thing man i bet that lights up yellow <laughs> i bet you it's green <laughs> it's does it work <laughs> oh no. Not not well enough to say yes. <laughs> Yo, tur turn it back on and just come look at it. <laughs> oh, more more came on that time. Nice. Oh, they're coming on. It's coming alive. It's, I think it may have been underwater at some point. It's got to warm up, you know. Yeah, yeah. I have the same problem. You got to get warmed up to come on? Yep. Weird. <laughs> Alrighty, my friends. Well, there you have it. The latest addition to the fleet. One other thing that I thought was actually really cool about this truck is, and it's kind of hard to see here, uh, most third gens come with that gray color dash uh, with this being a khaki color. I'm not sure if it ties in with the color of the truck. This is actually the same color as my dad's old truck, which is kind of some of the reason why I really, really love this color. You don't see it too often, but it actually has this brown color dash i don't know if you want to call it brown or not uh but it is a darker ish color not the typical gray dash which again is just a little bit different than you normally see so super pumped on this truck can't wait to tear into it get this thing built up needs a lot of love but again like i said it's kind of our specialty so if you guys are interested in this build make sure you guys stay tuned hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you have not already also before you go make sure you guys check out the first gen giveaway wrenchworks.com make sure you guys get entered to win that beast and ten thousand bucks but give this video a big thumbs up we will see you guys in the next video coming very very soon see ya what is the first thing that we should do to this thing hmm i'm not sure let us know in the comments what do you think we should do first see ya